When the Mars Transport Vehicle goes on its missions, we're not just going to send the astronauts off and not talk to them for the duration. We're going to need to stay in almost constant communications with them. We're here at RAF Lehman to look at the capabilities of 90 Signals Unit. Communications is what they do best. So we'll be here looking at some of their equipment and how we might utilise those capabilities to make sure that our Mars Transport Vehicle can keep in touch. Day to day, 90 Signals Unit deploy around the world anytime, anywhere. They utilise numerous communications capabilities, one of which being the Falcon. It's a broadband capability which enables us to send voice, data and communications across the battlefield and back to the UK. Everything from email to intelligence surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance data, also known as ISTAR. Our Mars transport vehicle would have to send voice, data and most likely video back to both the base camp and also any astronauts on the surface. It could do this utilising similar functionality that the Falcon has through its line of sight radio frequency communication systems. Finally, we need to consider the environment in which the Mars transport vehicle is going to operate in. Think of the driest desert, temperatures varying wildly between minus 130 Celsius to plus 20 Celsius, sandstorms covering the entire of the planet's surface, and a very thin atmosphere which is allowing radiation to get through far more than it is on Earth. It's going to have to be rugged and reliable, much like the Falcon and our Reachers. The next piece of equipment is Reacher. This is the RAF's mobile satellite communications hub. It is deployed from an advanced headquarters, beaming data to Skynet 5 satellites using its 2.4 and 4.8 meter disc-shaped antennas. If the vehicle goes further afield and beyond the horizon, direct line of sight communications won't work. We'll use Reacher's capability and use satellites to beam data back and forth from the vehicle to base. We'll have to think about whether we'll make it an integrated part of the transport vehicle or a deployable satellite dish. We'll need to make sure there are satellites in orbit. One satellite could just do it, however that wouldn't provide full coverage. We need a constellation of satellites to ensure we have a full coverage for data to stream from the vehicle to base. To find out more about our mission to Mars, subscribe to the Starship page. Maybe one day in the future you'll be part of a Mars mission. Communications are key to mission success in the RAF and any mission to Mars. Nothing starts without the cyberspace communications specialists.